Hi girls, so I'm back today with another video and you can see my face is bare. Um, sorry for that. Uh, a couple videos ago I did uh, mention that I was going to start doing like a weekly standouts kind of video. Haven't quite figured out what to call it yet. Maybe Saturday standouts, Saturday superstars. If you have any suggestions, I'll leave it down in the box below. Um, but for this week it's just going to be my weekly favorites video. It's basically just going to be a quick video, like an easy, simple weekend, you know, um, running to the store, um, cleaning kind of look. So basically low maintenance, um, nothing kind of crazy, just basic. So, uh, and that's just going to serve purpose to show you some of the things that I've been loving this week. So first thing I want to mention is on my nails. Um, it's this pretty pink design here, and I just did an accent nail with like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like little glitter specks, I guess. They're actually not glitter, it's actually like little round, um, holographic kind of glitters, I guess you can call it. Um, the pink shade is by Singful Colors, and it's called Over It. I did haul this in one of my most recent haul videos. It's just a baby pink with some very, very muted glittery, uh, silver glitter specks in that. So that's on my nails. Um, one thing I will say about this formula is it's opaque. However, um, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but do you see how like it looks kind of slept on? Yeah, so this formula does not dry too um, fast. In fact, I don't know if it dries at all. <laughs> it might take like 24 hours to dry because I had this bad boy on my nails for about three to six hours and yeah, before I went to bed and it was still slept on when I woke up. So the formula on this one, I'm not really happy with. Uh, I have tons of simple color shades in my collection and I really don't have a problem with that. So maybe it's just this one, I don't know. So that's that, and then the little glitter strip, I guess you could say, um, I left it bare on the center, I just used tape to do the pink, and then in the center, I used this LA Girl Splatter Nail Lacquer in the shade Splash, and you can see the glitter specs a lot better there. It's just white and teal and silver. Um, really, really love it. So I just did a strip down the middle, and then on the sides of the Splash, I did uh, silver. <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. Okay, so that's that for my nails. I got an eyelash. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get started and, you know, roll with it. So first thing I've been loving is, and I've had this. This is probably one of my first primers that I ever bought, and it's my favorite. It is by e.l.f., and it's the Mineral Face Primer. Uh, I'm already moisturized. All that good stuff. And with this primer, you seriously need, like, a half of a pump, okay? Okay. Not too much. And what I do with it is I just pat it in the center of my face. Um, focusing around the nose and the chin area. And what I do is I kind of just like pat it in to the places where I really need it. Um, pores on my nose and around my nose. Between my eyebrows. And then I kind of just disperse the rest on the rest of my face. So there's that. I have the sniffles, girls. I don't know if it's the weather or what, but here in Jersey, it's getting a little um, crazy with weather. It's been in the 50s and 60s the past week. Rain, because there's a nor'easter that blew in. So, yeah. I'm feeling it. Uh, it's actually nice today. I think it's the first nice day. Uh, actually, yesterday was the first nice day. So, excuse my sniffles. Okay. Next thing that I have been loving is a foundation, and it is by Rimmel. It's called the Clean Finish Foundation Look 100% Poreless, and this is the shade Soft Beige number 240. I have been, like, using this every single day, and let me tell you the compliments that I've been getting on it. Um, it's a little nuts. Uh, I did pull this back out because it kind of is probably one of my only sh uh, foundations that match my skin tone right now because I'm pasty white. Um, but this stuff is great. Um, I think the price point was like five, six dollars at Walmart. Um, and I just love it. Uh, it lasts all day. Um, it doesn't like oxidize on me. It doesn't break up around my, you know, nose area that I've noticed at all. Um, and it just looks clean. That's one of the comments that I got from a friend of mine at work that actually, um, 
commented on my foundation. She asked me what I was wearing and I told her this and she said, yeah, it looks clean. It looks fresh. So love this stuff by Rimmel. Um, it has like one of these little scooper jammies, which doesn't really bother me much. So what I've been doing is I've just been scooping it up and then putting it on the back of my hand. Clean hands. And then I've been like dotting it around. I'm using my viewfinder to dock this, so sorry if I'm looking all over the place. So I'm going to my mom's today. She is moving. Do I have a rag? Um, she's moving next week, so I've been like helping her pack and lift heavy stuff because my mom's like me and she just like thinks she's superwoman and has to do everything on her own, so <laughs> to avoid broken bones, um, I've been helping her as much as I can, so, which hasn't really been much because I work till six, but, uh, I'm using my Coastal Scents Angle Top Kabuki to buff this in. And as you can see, it really, really matches me and my whiteness. But do you see how it, like, covers up the redness, like, instantly? I love that about this foundation. And it really does not look um, cakey. You know, with, like, your thicker foundations, it can tend to look, like, powdery and cakey and just, blech, like a hot mess. This doesn't really do that that much you know you can tell that you have it on but it's like such a natural effect like it really doesn't doesn't look bad let's just put it that way and of course I do like to add a little bit more around my chin because we know that that's like my um, trouble area my hormones been absolutely nuts lately. Uh, nothing new, <laughs> but I probably should go see a doctor, but nobody got time for that. Now, I've been applying this all week, girls, two different ways. I've been using my angle top by Coastal Scents, but I've also just been going in with like a wet or damp rather um, beauty sponge, like a beauty blender. I don't have the actual beauty blender, but I have like the beauty sponge by Real Techniques, which I love. And you can tell it's dirty. Um, yeah. And I like the way it applies um, both methods. So, okay. So you can see that as far as coverage goes. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's not very cakey. Like it just looks beauteous. Okay, so on top of that, what I've been doing is for the more troubled areas, I've been going in with my Quick Fix Beige Stick by Derma Blend. This is really good stuff, and I probably shouldn't like put direct contact on my skin, but I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. So I've just been like dabbing it around the areas that need a little bit more coverage. I have raccoon eyes. <laughs> you see the raccoonishness around my eyes. And I've just been, you know, just blending that out with my, my brush, sometimes my finger. And I probably need a little bit more right there. So I hope you girls had a good week. Yesterday was horrible for me. Jaden was actually off of school, so he was going to be going to stay with my mom while I went to work. And I usually wake up anywhere between like 5.30 and 7, which gives me enough time to do everything I have to do, cook my food, because I don't do it the night before, because I'm lazy by the time I get home. Um, but I woke up at 8 o'clock, so that was like a mad dash for the door. Um, but surprisingly, I made it to work on time anyway, so I was happy about that. Oh, before I forget, before I go any further, I want to show you another favorite because I'm probably going to forget. Um, I went to Five Below last week or two weeks ago uh, because I needed a new dump bag. I don't have any big ones. And I found this one. It says on the top, it's so cute. It says Kiss and Makeup. 
How cute is that? Um, and it's this pretty metallic teal dump bag. And I love it because it's got this little zipper pouch here. Um, and inside, I don't know if you can see, I have stuff in here. Um, it's got the big area for like makeup. And then like it's got this cute, it comes out, but woo! Spilling stuff. It's got brushes in it. It's got this cute little insert bag that I've been using for like my brushes. Do you see that? And it's like the perfect size. This is my e.l.f. powder brush. Um, just for size comparison. Okay, like awesome for travel. Like love this. So I want to show you. Okay, moving on. Okay, so foundation is done. And this is another product that like girls I have been like obsessing over. It is by Sonia Kashuk. And it is the Chic Luminosity Glow Powder. <whistles> girls, talk about love. Um, it's a white translucent powder. And you can see that I have like... Okay, it has like a reptilian kind of embossing on it, um, and that's pretty much gone because I have been using this every single day, all day. It is translucent, and it is so silky, smooth, beautiful. It gives you a glow from within kind of effect, but it does not look like glittery on the skin. Like It is just perfection in a pressed powder. Um, I've been using this everywhere. Oh, I was going to set my under eyes. Actually, I was going to put some concealer, but whatever. Okay, so, yeah, this powder is everything. Um, I don't know if you're going to see the effect it gives on ca on the camera. But, first of all, it's great for setting. Um, it does tame the oilies throughout the day. And it just sets, like, your under eyes without creasing, um, without getting it cakey. It is just a beautiful powder. For $12, this has been compared to the NARS Sheer Glow, I think it's called. You know, that white powder that's like $40-some-odd or up there in price. Yeah, this stuff, I don't care how great that stuff is because I am like 1,000% satisfied with this. I, and I've heard that also on, here on YouTube from some other girls. Chic Luminosity Powder Girls phenomenal if you're in target pick that up because it is a great great product you won't be disappointed okay next thing that i've been loving again because i'm white <laughs> and no tan whatsoever is my nyc smooth skin sunny just a perfect bronzer like it's just beautiful and i'm not going to do too much bronzing just because i got nowhere to go up to pack so I'm just gonna bronze up my face a little bit my forehead my cheek area and we are on 13 minutes already I talk way too much okay so NYC sunny love it for blush I have been Grabbing my Milani in Delicioso Pink because it just gives a nice pop to the cheeks. And another favorite this week, girls, has been my Samantha Chapman um, Large Stippling Brush for applying blush because it just gives you the most natural airbrushed flush of color to the cheeks. And it kind of blends it out for you. You see that? Because we all know how pigmented these Milani blushes are. And this just like gives you a flawless application. It's foolproof. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Next, um, for eyeballs, I have been keeping it like supernatural, like not gonna lie. Brulee by Wet n Wild and my Samantha Chapman Dome Shadow Brush. This has been like every day. I'll put on a base. And I will go in with this all the way up to my brow. And I will bring it in. And I will even bring it underneath. Because it is just a perfect shade for me to do that with. See? Love this shade by Wet n Wild. And... It'll cover up my raccoon eyes. 
You see that? Instantly brightened. Next thing, I just keep going back to it. Um, L'Oreal Telescopic. It's just like my mascara. It's my favorite. I love it. And nothing has been able to replace it. And I don't think it will. Builds up beautifully, just separates, lengthens, volumizes. It can be spidery if you want it to. <laughs> and if you don't, then hey, it won't. But it's just the perfect formula, and I love it. And I'm just doing one coat on the top and bottom because I'm not going anywhere. See? For lips. Lips, lips, lips. Couple things. First of all, baby lips every single day, all day. SPF 20, cold weather makes me chappy chapped and I hate it, so been loving that. Um, lip liner by Rimmel, exaggerate, um, full color lip liner in the shade, Innocent. Beautiful Nude. I will either... Fill in my whole lip with this and then go over it with my other favorite, MUA Nude. Or, I have been loving by Kiko Cosmetics, the Exotic Shine Lipstick in number 01. Doesn't have a name. Um, beautiful, perfect, pinky nude. Look at that. This is my color. Okay? This is my color. And then I will sometimes top it with the MUA Nude. This gloss is life. See that? just a beautiful combination these three or in any combination of the three fabulous <laughs> also for lips um, and final product girls is by wet n wild rose to flame I absolutely adore this color beautiful mauvey fall deliciousness mine broke it does come out but I don't care because the packaging it's not gonna like be a situation where I have to pot it. So, been loving that. Alright girls, so that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to see videos like this in the future, um, if you think it's a good idea, please thumbs me up, share, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'm off to help my mom pack. I love you so much. Um, I have other videos coming this weekend. I need to film. I've been slacking. I do apologize. Things have been nuts, um, but I do love you, and I appreciate every single one of you. See you next time. Bye.